Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema, and today we're going to review Spider-Man Homecoming in preparation for Spider-Man Far From Home. But before we begin, make sure to comment down below your thoughts and let me know what you think about this film, how it integrates into the MCU, and how it compares to the other Spider-Man films that are out. And make sure to like this video and subscribe because after I review Far From Home once that comes out, I'm going to be ranking every Spider-Man film from the worst to the best, as well as every MCU film from the worst to the best, and you won't want to miss that, so Click that subscribe button if you're new here. Spider-Man Homecoming is Spider-Man's first solo film in the MCU coming right after Captain America's Civil War and we get Spider-Man at his normal neighborhood Spider-Man type of thing trying to always be himself by trying to save the city, trying to always find something that he can help others and be a superhero. But in the end he has to learn to be himself and be able to fight even without the suit because if he's nothing without the suit then he doesn't deserve it. And starting with the positives, of course it's an MCU movie so they know really well how to integrate the humor into the mix and they have a nice set of characters with diverse personalities that really brings that humor out. And not only is Spider-Man's character arc really interesting because we already get to cut straight to the chase as we already know his origin story from the previous Spider-Man movies. And what I really like is how they realistically portray a high school version of Peter Parker which the other sort of previous Spider-Man movies did not do so well. They made it normal and almost natural for him to be Spider-Man but in this movie they added the awkwardness of having to grow up and being too cocky but they make it really good and Tom Holland really portrays that role well. Having Michael Keaton as the main villain of the Vulture really works well because he does a good job in playing the role and they have a reason to why he's this way, why he does what he does because he's just trying to make money to feed his family, to take care of his family and it's not just to destroy things or take over anything and kill people. And there's really great chemistry between all the relationships that Peter Parker interacts with the other characters, whether it's his friends, the vultures and the other villains, or even Tony Stark, which was also a really nice addition, is adding Iron Man into the mix as a father figure, but he still saves room for Spider-Man to have the main spotlight. And moving on to mix elements, I would say some little parts get a little too slow or a little bit too awkward, which kind of works for how the story works out, but it makes it like a little bit too odd to be in the story and it doesn't make that moment as enjoyable, even if it is a little bit believable. And for as for the slow moments, there's nothing too big. You can still easily track what's going on within the story. So it's just a little gripe. And with some negatives, there's nothing too much here, but it is unfortunate that they pushed some of the side villains off to the side because they really had some named villains in there that not a ton of people might recognize until they recognize that there's actual names to them, but they don't give them as big a role as they did with the Vulture. But overall, the characters were nice, the story was interesting, and the villain was fantastic with Michael Keaton and Tom Holland as Spider-Man. The great chemistry within all of that mix and I'd have to rate it simply 8.9 out of 10. But those were just my thoughts on this film and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this film and how it integrates within the MCU but also how it compares to the other Spider-Man films. And also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and make sure to check out some of these other videos that you may not have watched uh, X-Men ranking as well as a video YouTube suggests for you. So check those videos out and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back for more movie reviews, rankings, and more.